Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kage Kaze, and we're taking a look at another game from the humble indie bundle number seven. This is The Binding of Isaac, with The Wrath of the Lamb, DLC included. This has been an interesting exercise so far, as uh, just trying to get this record to set up, uh, I've had to finagle things a bit, uh, get my software to just record my full screen, because why? Well, because The Binding of Isaac is programmed in Flash. And Flash doesn't play well with uh, certain applications like Fraps or mine happens to be Bandicam. Uh, but hey, we got it to work. So that's the good news. Uh, the other thing too is because of Flash, there's a couple things. Uh, one, it, this game does not have the standard resolutions you'd expect. Let's go into the options screen, start this off. As you can see, the full screen resolutions come in various sizes and the highest is the 1280 by 800. So that might be why you see some black bars around this, because I didn't want to stretch this around to 1080 and make it look really weird. Uh, so I do apologize for that in advance. Uh, but we do have it on high detail, full screen on. And we've got the music, of course. The other thing about this uh, being in Flash is, uh, well, there's no rebindable controls, for one. Uh, for two, if you want to use a gamepad, you have to use Joy2Key. I'm using that right now. I'm going to be playing this with a gamepad because I find it just a little bit easier. Of course, you can see they tell you to Google it. Uh, it's honestly, a program like Joy2Key is not that hard to use. Uh, as far as what Azerty is, I don't know. I really have no clue. I should have looked into that. But yeah, as you can see, the options screen here for The Binding of Isaac is very bare bones and uh, so what Isaac is is this is a roguelike game now it, I say that even though uh, I really have to say I've only used the term roguelike recently because that's the term I've heard to use to describe these kind of games because I never played the original rogue so what's a roguelike game what defines a roguelike game well in this case let's think about this uh, you could compare this to the original Legend of Zelda only you take away the overworld, you've got nothing but dungeons, and those dungeons are completely random. Other games that prescribed this kind of method would be, uh, let's say, uh, things like uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or the Dragon Quest Mystery Dungeon series. There are others. There's a whole bunch of them, actually. Uh, Japan is uh, fairly famous for having a whole bunch of them, actually. A lot of them don't always come over here stateside, though. So when I say random, I mean random. Completely random. The Binding of Isaac, when you start a game, will basically give you a random dungeon, dungeon random enemies, random power-ups, everything. You cannot play the same game twice. So let's go ahead and start this so you can kind of see it. Uh, you start off here with Isaac. There's a few other characters, but they're all completely locked at this point. Whether or not they provide any additional bonuses, I couldn't tell you. Isaac has some stats here such as life, speed, and attack, though, so I imagine they will. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to tell you, this is honestly one of the most disturbing games I've played. So you start off here, and uh, the other thing about roguelikes that I failed to mention earlier is that you're honestly given very minimal information about the game and what everything in the game is or does. There is no manual to tell you what all these items do. You're going to find random items in the world, and you have to pretty much discover what they do. Or go to the wiki. There, There is a wiki that will help you with that. And the Wrath of Lamb DLC adds so many more items to this uh, that it's crazy. There's a ton of stuff. So as you can see here, you've got the basic uh, movement keys. Then, of course, you've got an attack in four different directions. You can place a bomb, and you can use items. That's really it. But you'll see that uh, the game gets a bit more complicated than that as we go along. So we're just going to progress here. You can see right there. That's pretty simple right there. But hey, right away we found an item room. What do we got? Crack the sky. Space to use. Okay, so the way items work, you can see on the top, much like I mentioned, Legend of Zelda. In the upper left, you've got the map of the dungeon. I've got money. I've got bombs. Just kind of point this out. You've got money here. We've got bombs and then keys. Arrows, which is just your primary attack. And, of course, you have a secondary item, which is currently mapped to space. And there's a bar next to this. Well, I'll go ahead and use this. Oh, Isaac versus Wrath. We're fighting a sub-boss already. 
and Wrath makes me laugh because he's pretty much Bomberman. Dropping bombs everywhere, looks just like him. It's funny. Uh, let's go ahead and use this item and... A small rock has appeared in the basement. Oh, okay, that's probably from him blowing up rocks. That was probably an achievement. Okay, so let's use the item. Wow. That was kind of cool. Of course, I don't think it hit him. Well, maybe it did. He took a lot of damage there, it seems like. Goodbye, Wrath. Hey! Okay. Yes, there are traps. Lots of traps. This game is not exactly friendly to players. There is a lot in this game. And a lot that can go wrong. <laughs> a lot that can go right, too, though, if you get the right series of random events. But... So what's your... Oh, my goodness. Tears of blood. Yeah, this, this is a disturbing game. So the story of this is that Isaac's mother locked Isaac away in his room because she heard the voice of God tell her that Isaac was corrupt. And uh, he ne she needed to remove all corruptions in Isaac's life. So she took away everything, including his clothes, which is why he's naked. Uh, eventually, the voice of God says, Isaac is still corrupt, so you must now sacrifice him for me. And so, yeah, Isaac uh, runs away in terror uh, into a trap door hidden under his room. And that's where we are now. This is all underneath Isaac's room, believe it or not, yes. But yes, this torment is what's causing him, of course, as you can see, to cry in pain and as he wallows in what's going on around him. All right, so what did I just pick up? Uh, that's a, as far as I understand, that is a spirit heart. Excuse the background noise there. Oh, I got hit. So spirit hearts are temporary hearts, temporary life given to you. You cannot get it back unless you get another spirit heart. And as you can see, I've already lost it from getting hit. I'm not too great at games like this. And uh, you can kind of see from the mechanics here, you, you might not have noticed it right away, but the aiming's a little off sometimes. You, you When you move, you actually move the bullet with you. So instead of firing straight, it'll kind of move in a direction. So yeah, you can actually perform kind of trick shots with that. And if you're not used to it, it can throw you off and throw off your aim. So here's the thing about a roguelike. You can already see something that's uh, been caused by the random system. And that's, I'm sitting here with no keys. I can't go through this locked door. And I've already explored the entire first level of the dungeon. All I've got left is a boss room. And in that room on the right is a shop. And since I've only got two coins, it really doesn't matter at this point. So we're going to go fight the boss. Monstro. Now, I mentioned completely random. Completely random enemies, things like that. Well, bosses are included in that. The bosses themselves will, as far as I understand, will pretty much be the same, but the order you fight them in will be completely random. So I could fight this guy, I could fight another guy, and so each boss will show up at random and so basically the difficulty of this game is based on how well you do against each boss you fight and as you can see I am not really doing that great oh boy not doing too great but I've got him down to half let's kind of avoid those shots oh jeez blood everywhere and he's just regurgitating bullets at me I guess oh boy that was close I gotta move around, use the four-way shooting to my advantage, and just kind of avoid everything. So, and uh, another characteristic of roguelikes, permadeath. That's right, you don't get a second chance. If I die, I have to start all over again. Very much exploration-based. You have to basically complete the game in one sitting. You can't save, you can't uh, come back to it. Oh dear. Come on, come on. There we go, and I'm giving some hearts back, thank goodness. What's this? Some milk. Breakfast. Hit points up. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. And so between levels, he cries and thinks of some kind of torment, like getting pantsed. Beautiful. So we wake up crying in the next room. And I forgot I still have my item, so let's use my item. Oh, that was cool. Destroyed a few enemies there. Uh, so, the items. You notice I used it, I could use it again. I can't use it right now because it's completely blank. The bar next to the item shows you the strength at which uh, you have a charge. So, by clearing this room, I gained a little bit of a charge here. So, I got one block. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, that means I have to clear six rooms in order to get this item back. Different items recharge at different rates. Oh, wow, that should have hit me. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Huzzah, some bombs. Okay, great. A red chest? What does it cost to open a red chest? Is that going to cost me health? Oh boy, let's find out. No, it's... Oh goodness, trollolol. <laughs> wow, okay. Meat! Yes, meat. Oh, that hurt. This isn't good. I need to get better at these games. I really do. Come on. Come around. Come, come around. No. Come. Really. Stop it. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come to my trap. Very good. How did I miss that? Really? Excellent. There we go. And I got nothing for clearing this out. So I've got a few bombs, and much like Legend of Zelda, I could try and bomb the four walls in each room to try and find secret rooms. But you, considering how random everything is, I have no idea if I'm going to have a limited amount of bombs, if I'm going to get more bombs later. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to hold, ooh, oh, ouch, hold on to it. Ah, he's moving fast, he's moving fast. Ah, stop it. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Oh, jeez. So, yeah. <laughs> this takes some getting used to. I don't, of course, obviously you can tell I don't have any power-ups or anything like that. I haven't even found uh, any good secondary items yet. It's uh, been kind of random and not in my favor. Okay, an item shop, and I don't have a key. So, you can find items in bricks as well uh, by breaking them. Uh, like, I could try and break these bricks. Oh, uh, that was good. Come on. The thing is, uh, from what I've seen, because I did watch a little bit of footage on this, is that certain bricks are predisposed to having items, and I believe they have to be tinted or shaded. Uh, of course, they were playing a character that wasn't Isaac, so whether or not that's different for Isaac, I don't know. Chest! Oh, wonderful. A bunch of coins and a bomb. I still don't have a key though, so I can't get into the item room. See if we can't. Hey! Beautiful, let's go to the item room, see what we get. Kind of don't want to keep this crack this guy. It's kind of nice, but. Let's get, see if we can get. Hello? Mutant spider quad shot, nice! Oh, that is really nice. Uh, as you can see, it also mutates Isaac. I have four eyes now. That's. And fangs, apparently. I think those are... Yeah. So that item started appearing uh, because I got an achievement, I believe. I got an achievement about a radioactive spider uh, when I was kind of previewing the game a little bit to get an idea of what this game is all about. And, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing different items will start showing up as achievements are unlocked. Just kind of trying to do trick shots here to see if I can get used to it. Yeah, they're running away. Come here, muffin boy! Well, okay, so he looks like a muffin to me, okay? He's probably got severe brain damage. Right, because he's got the massive brain damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you for blowing that right into my direction. You know, I just realized, take a look at this door above me. And this is something um, I know of because I tried it a little bit before. That is going to hurt me walking through it. So that's going to suck. But I see an icon on the map, and I don't know what it is. So I kind of want to explore that. Let's take a look. Take a little bit of damage. What is this? Sister Maggie? Oh, cool. Now I have uh, something kind of floating around and following me and shooting as well. Uh, I could go further down, but it looks like there's a secret to the right. I'm going to take a little more damage. I've got plenty of life, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, nice. Nickel, a whole bunch of coins. Put out the fires. Alright, so I've already lost a heart. I'm going to lose another heart going back. So this is going to kind of suck. Do all I'm, Nope. Wasn't invincible long enough. Alright, well, let's go into the boss chamber. Larry Jr. Alright, Larry Jr. Crack the sky. Oh, yes, half his health gone. Haha! That's right! Haha! 
You are no match for Isaac and his radioactive spider tears. A monstro's tooth has appeared in the dungeon, so there's another item. But that's disturbing, really. A coat hanger. It, it, it. Tears up. Okay, so I guess that means I have more power on my tears. Oh, hello. This, what is this room? Oh dear. This is a deal with the devil, isn't it? I can choose to sacrifice permanently, mind you. I've, I've, like I said, the only reason I know this is because I've watched a little bit of on, on this. I can pick one of these items, and what's going to happen is the cost, as you can see, is two hearts. That's not just going to take away two hearts. Like you can see, I have four hearts right now. Only two of them are filled. Uh, it's not going to damage me. It's actually going to take those hearts away. That's why you have the spirit hearts, the gray hearts, because they will allow you to stay alive even if you've made things like deals with the devil here. Uh, ooh, oh, well, that was bad. Is that even definitely makes me not want to do this, because if I pick one, I'm going to have half a heart and then half a spirit heart. I am not doing so well at the game right now, so I'm going to pass on the devil's deal. Oh, really? Really? This poor child. So yeah, I gotta say, this is interesting. I've not played roguelike games before, and uh, this is kind of my first experience with one, and it's completely fascinating to me. This whole random system, it's truly a hardcore kind of game. What's this? Damage up. Chemical peel. Awesome, so my damage is up. So what was the tears up? Does that just mean I got more tears, can fire more often? I don't really know. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh that poor Isaac. I've got the coat hanger in his head, and now half his face is missing. <laughs> wow. So your character completely evolves as you play with the items that you find, and it's completely disturbing. I like it, though. I, the whole appeal of it, I mean, this is kind of a qu it's really a quick game, honestly. You could probably get through this game if you go fast in a few minutes. Uh, you know, I, I think half an hour if you try to explore or something like that. It was what I was seeing. It's, uh... It really depends on how quickly you move and uh, if you like to explore and try things out. Okay, so I've got a heart there I want to get. I've got seven bombs, and what I'm going to do is I can actually do this. I can knock some of this dirt into the pit. Just like that. Excellent. Now I've got a bit more health, so I feel a little better about how I'm doing. So I'm intrigued. I think I want to play more of this game and just try it out and see if I can do better. You know, right? Oh, oh that was horrible. I should never avoid that. It definitely shows me how bad I am at uh, old school type games. Pretty much the uh, idea is it seems to be just keep moving. A lot of enemies try to shoot where you were, it seems. Uh, unless you're bad at dodging. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting hurt. I need uh, to stop that. Oh, ow. So yeah, this, I gotta say, this Humble Indie Bundle this time around has been really good. Uh, okay, that is a chest that requires a key. I have no keys, so I can't open it. So I'm not even going to waste a bomb trying to get to it. So I've been playing, I did the video on Legend of Grimrock. That's online right now, so you can see that. Um, Legend of Grimrock... I spent a ton of time with, honestly. I've spent hours over the last couple days just playing that game. Can I get... I can't. There's no dirt that I can put into it, either. That's weird. So, I have to say, as far as this Humble Indie Bundle goes, I have been playing the games on this one probably more than any of the others. It's I've spent so much time in Grimrock. I've spent uh, spending a bunch of time with this. I kind of like this game as well. I completely beat Shank 2, so I should be going over that soon. Uh, let's see, I've got six bombs. Should I go ahead and risk it for this chest? Let's do it. Oh, cool. It only took one. Open for me. Lots of coinage. Excellent. Hmm. 
I don't think I can fill these in without there being some kind of rock. All right, let's not waste a bomb on it. Nice, very nice. So yeah, there, it, as simple as this game is, there is a lot of stuff you kind of have to discover how to play. It's deceptively complex. It doesn't seem like it, but it is. Oh, jeez. That... I'm low on health. If I go through there, I'm going to lose a complete heart. And I have a boss battle to go through. I don't have any keys. Oh, jeez. The boss is probably going to take me out. You know what? Let's do it. Really? So all I get out of that is two troll bombs. Oh boy. Wish I had a key. Maybe I can get some health, because I've got 26 coins. I could definitely buy something if I could... Alright, let's see if we can't knock the key off of this platform, shall we? Uh, let's put a bomb here. Oh, damn. Damn. I have a feeling this is going to be it. We're going to see the game over. Come on, Sister Maggie. Let's go die. The Hollow. Oh dear. Oh jeez. I got hit, lost half my heart, but the... Cracked the sky. Oh my goodness, I did it. I survive. What is this? Meat. Tears plus HP up. Oh, nice. We live again another day. Why, why would you do that? No, seriously, why would anybody do that? Uh, all right, yeah. Ooh, an arcade. Uh, ooh, that'll be fun. I've got 26 coins to muck around with. So as you can see though, uh, the, the one challenging thing about this, well, I can't say the one, because there's a lot challenging about this game actually. Uh, but one of the challenging things about this game is that you can see that I cannot leave this room until I defeat the enemies. Oh, that was close. Whew. Wow. Does it take a key to open that door? No, it just took a coin. Cool. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a blood bank that takes my life and turns it into coins. And it looks like, what's this, a fortune teller machine? Look to La Luna. Why does that sound familiar? I know that's from something. Hold on. Let's use another one. 23. Think for yourself. Really? What is the point of that? Okay, let's gamble. A fly. Alright. Okay! Fly love. Skatol. And I now have crap on my head. Why do I have crap on my head? Does this do anything for me? I feel like I lost my coat hanger too. What? Fly love. So that does that mean that flies in the game won't hurt me anymore? I have no idea. All right, let's look at the item shop. I've got 22 more coins. I can buy a coin, I can buy a tarot card, I can show you guys the tarot cards, that's kind of neat. Actually, I'm a little disappointed that I haven't found sub-items to use, because the arrows in the space item up here, these are just two items. You can actually carry a whole third set of items in this. What does the ladder do? Does that, like, take you back to the beginning, I wonder? Well, let's get a tarot card. Look to La Luna, the moon. Okay, so... So as you can see, that's a separate item. It's on the side now. Oh dear. Come on, come on. Excellent. Let's use it. Let's see what it does, shall we? Oh, cool. So the moon takes me to the secret room in the dungeon. And the secret room is disappointing because it's a fortune machine. Let's, well, let's see what it does. Really? Oh. 
It's horrible. Okay, well. <laughs> so, trying to show off the items, and it is fail. Super fail, but I'm somehow... Sur whoop, one plus one free, very nice. More bombs. You know, figures that a game about complete randomization would give me random crap to show off, so I can't even tell you how cool this game is, because I've seen some really cool stuff. But hey, that's alright. Oh! By the way, yes, you're not seeing things. Those are turds in the dungeon that... Uh, oh, he reformed. Let's get those. Get those. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yes, there are turds around the dungeon that you can destroy. Isn't that fantastic? Hey, look, an item room, and I have no key. Okay, so let's go down. Okay. Well, it's letting me gamble a lot this time around. Hey, a bomb. Sweet. You know what I'm going to do with that bomb? I'm going to blow it up. And I get my bombs back in... Okay, awesome. You know what? That's, that, that reminds me. I'm going to go blow up that other machine. Because you can apparently get stuff from blowing up machines. I honestly wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for that video I watched. I, you know, really, I can't take the credit for our, these discoveries. I uh, was just kind of interested in... Actually, what I was really trying to find out is what Wrath of the Lamb added to the game, because it's all inclusive. Oh, jeez, there's another uh, red item room over there. I'm low on health. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so... Do I have to blow this open? Well... Yep, looks like I do, so waste of a bomb. That's okay. Let's see if I get anything for blowing it up. Oh, nice! A couple of keys. A Pope hat. Alright, what do you do? You feel blessed. Okay, so the Pope hat is apparently hiding under the poo on my head. I am blessed. I wonder what that does. Does that hurt anything that touches me? I got a feeling it won't. Trollolo! Yes. This game hates you. This game hates me. This game is not friendly to people. It is designed to be difficult. It is designed to give you nightmares. Okay, cool. I can trick shot it. Very good. Come on. Oops. Ready? I have to be moving first, I guess. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Alright, so... A green one. So there are special enemy types. You can see he's got a bit of a bigger shot. Oh boy. Hmm. You know what? I've got seven bombs. Let's, let's just make this happen, shall we? Hey, Spirit Heart. Awesome. Come on. Oh, come on. What was that all about? What are you on about? Oh, come on. I feel cheated. Well, I can't get the nickel. Alright, there's the boss room. Yeah, if you like uh, difficulty, if you like roguelikes, if you like batshit insane craziness, you might like The Binding of Isaac. This, uh, like I said, this has definitely piqued my interest as far as, let's say, just, there's so many random items. I think there's over a hundred items in this game. Uh, you just, there's just so much you can do and get in this game. So you, uh, well, I got 20 coins. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to try and donate to this poor little guy and see what he can possibly give me. I don't want to hurt him, so let's just put this back a bit further. There we go. So you have a coin. Excellent. Have another coin. Okay, that's three times the charm. And you are giving me strength. Card number 11. 
Uh, okay, this is a sacrifice room. I've done this before. I t touch those spikes, it takes away health, and if I'm lucky, I get an item. If I'm not, it just takes away my health and I get jack. And considering where my health is right now, I don't think I'm going to do it. Yeah, this is craziness. I'm almost done with the caves. I think I have one more level left. Chub. <laughs> He's got a chub. Ah, okay. Just do it. Oh my god, it didn't hit him. That's not cool, bro. Not cool. Okay, what does strength do? Let's find out. Uh, I couldn't see what it did. Uh, oh, I've, I'm bigger. It didn't have a description on it when I used it, so I just kind of that one I had to kind of just kind of see what happened. But it's looking like I'm bigger, but I'm doing more damage, so that's good. That wasn't too bad. Okay, yep, that's an item that's appearing now. That's great. Dog food. Magdalene. Okay. My hit points are up. I'm doing pretty good. So there's one more after this. You can see at the top. And speaking of Magdalene, so he was given a wig and he. Okay. <sighs> really, there's. It's disturbing. Oh come on. Wait, are they friendly or are they hostile to me? They're friendly. Look at that. Okay. That made this room real easy. They couldn't hurt me. So that's what the poo is all about. Oh my goodness, really, embryos? Why am I even surprised? Really, why am I surprised in this game? Nothing should surprise me in this game at this point. I mean, Isaac's mom wants to kill him because she heard a voice from God. Ow. I need to stop getting hit. Really? Flies and flies won't hurt me because I have poo. I am the great and mighty poo. Yes. Coins, hearts, and... Okay, item room. Let's check it. Another fly. Attack fly. I have my own attack fly. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, with some of the items you can get in this, Isaac can actually look pretty cool. I need to keep moving. Okay. Ow, I got hit by the... Okay. Stop, stop. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So, I can take damage to get to the fortune machine. Why would I use a fortune machine? It's done nothing for me so far. So, do I take the full heart it takes to get to it and blow it up? You know what? I'm going to take my frustrations out on that machine. Yes, I'm going to do it. Really? Alright, hold on. I might actually be able to get by this without taking damage. I did it! I did it! I got through that without taking damage. I should have tried that in the first place. Use a bomb to get a bomb. There's a possibility of other items dropping, I guess. So, you know what? I'm going to do it. Use a bomb to get a bomb. Pointless, I know. I do not want to sacrifice my health to go into an item room that's unreliable. So I'm going to go through this, and I'm going to try and get to the end of this instance, or this um, the cave. Ooh, judgment. That sounds particularly nasty. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to tell you now that apparently this game has 12 endings. So what I show you is going to be a drop in the hat compared to anything that you see elsewhere. Whoa, oh, ew. What the hell are... Ew. I don't I don't know. Those those are very disturbing looking. Oh, I, I stood in that, really? I'm an idiot. 
Sweet. Okay, let's take this guy out. Do I have a key? I have two keys. There's a shop above me. I have 34 coins. Let's go this way first. Oh dear. TNT made that easy. TNT on dynamite. So, does my attack fly actually attack anything? Come on, fly. Do me a solid. Hit him. Yes! <laughs> he is unreliable at best, though. Oh my goodness. Brains? Brains leaving a trail of blood. And in avoiding the brain, I got hit by the two side things. So, yeah, not good. It is a good thing I have a lot of health. Oh, greed. Nice. I really should use my uh, Crack the Sky more often in tough encounters. You know, it takes six rooms to recharge it. I should be okay. Ooh, what's this? 50% off. Steam sale! Nice. This game is littered with internet culture references. As you've seen, the troll -la -la bomb. Uh, there's also shoop de whoop. You can charge and fire in your laser. Beautiful. These guys really can't do anything against me because flies don't hate me. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this that's kind of pop culture wise. Pills, huh? I kind of want to see what Judgment does, but I kind of want to see what the pills do as well. Pills are random, I've noticed. So let me go pick up that pill. Pills here! See, that's Left for Dead right there. So what does it do? Tears up! Okay, good. So the white pill apparently is tears up. Now, that might not be a given, though. Monstro 2. Crack the sky! And of course it did... Crap all. Alright, what does Judgment do? Oh, I fed it life that I didn't... Oh, oh, ow. I have no idea. Does that hurt my enemies too? Or maybe I have to feed it life in order for it to do something else. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh. Oh. Right, I avoid one attack just to ram into another. I think those flies will actually try and hurt me. Oh, jeez. I didn't see that coming, so I, I got lucky with the avoiding that. Ow. Uh-oh, almost got trapped by my own thing. Oh, oh, ow, down to two hearts. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Yes, you're charging your, you're firing your laser. I know. I've almost got him. I've almost got him. I can make this happen. I can feel it. I can feel it. Things are gonna change. I can feel it. Whew! I survive. Pageant boy. Okay. I guess I just. <laughs> I've got my pageantry prize of cash. Excellent. This is it, the final one for this area, and... Mom doesn't love me. What the... Ew. I'm super low on life. I need to get hearts. Badly. Badly. No, no. <laughs> Yes, have I, have I mentioned I'm bad at these games? Terribly so. Alright, I've got key. Oh, okay, these, yeah, these guys can't be hurt except from behind. Oh, run, 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 run. Try not to get trapped. Oh, my attack fly is 
really helping out in this instance. Excellent. Good job. Good job, my fly. I still don't know what the damn Pope hat does for me. It's just completely and utterly random, and I, I'll have to look it up probably at some point. What is that? Okay, I need hearts. I need spirit hearts. I will take that, and I will take the spirit heart. What does this do? Let's let's find out together, shall we? Item martyr. It's a I'm still wearing, <laughs> wearing the pageant crown still, and I have a nun's habit. Item martyr. What does that does that mean? It sacrifices itself for me, or so I've got a pope hat and a habit. I don't even know. For a game so demonic-like, I've got a lot of holy items. Okay, stop getting hit by the. Easy to avoid stuff, really, really, Gage. Come on. Okay, there is a shaded block in there. And this is kind of what I was mentioning before. See, a slightly different color. Let's see if we can't get something from it. Excellent. The Fool. Hmm. Gluttony! Oh, wow. He's a bigger version of those things that I was fighting earlier. Ow! What is that? I've got a white heart now, not just a gray one. Rusted key? Okay, that's a new one on me. That's in the upper left-hand corner rather than the upper right. It's not a standard key. Ladies and gentlemen, really, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm going to tell you, it's still a good game. Honestly, this is, and it's, as you can see, it's one of those things you can just kind of pick up and play. You don't ha doesn't require a lot of thought. You just go in... Have fun with it. It is disturbing to say the least, but enjoyable, really. Even if you suck like me. Come on. That's it. We got. Oh wait, I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, yeah. See, I'm taking my eyes off of Isaac, and it's getting me killed. Well, that was refreshingly pointless. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Screw it. That didn't do anything for me. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. What was that? No idea what that was. I think. I wonder if that was my habit going off. All right. Uh, I need to find out what the fool does. Oh. Okay, let's do the fool. Apparently, the fool takes you back to the start. And I feel like a fool. Cause now I got to do all that again. I'm just gonna keep moving to try and avoid. Fire. Ow, 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 ow. My feather's at full power, though. I need that. I really need that. Can I knock this diagonally into one of these pits? You know what? I should have just blown this one up. What was I... What was I thinking? No! I saw that just as I came in. 
Okay, there's the boss room. I should probably do it before I do something stupid like die. I'm kind of tempted to see if I can't find out what this whole rusted key thing is about. So I'm just going to keep moving. That seems to be the key to this whole thing, is to just keep moving, keep on the move, and you should be able to avoid shots. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Those things were taken right out of Legend of Zelda. Seriously. Alright, let's play the arcade one more time, shall we? That's it. We're going to blow that up, and I'm going to blow this up as well. What's that? Matchstick. So... A key, a rusty key, or a matchstick. That's an odd decision to make, because I have no idea what they do. Alright. Um... Go with the matchstick. So, shall we count how I am disturbed right now? Isaac has a habit, a Pope hat. Technically, he still has a turd on his head because flies still like him. He has a coat hanger in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's still around. Um, half his face is missing. And he's got four eyes. The eyes are, of course, being covered by... Well, that's... Oh dear, come on, come on, come on, come on. Avoid the shots. Phew. Yeah, well, I've got the multiple shots, so I still have the eyes of the spider. Alright, I found the... Oh no! Oh, that was a bad thing to do. Get trapped like that. The only way to hurt these things is by hitting them from behind. Which should be easier to do with this multi-shot. I have so many keys. Let's... What are you... Polyamphim... Oh my goodness! Oh, that is... Okay, so apparently that gives me a bigger shot. And because I have the spider, I have bigger... Four-way shot. Oh. Okay, well, I'm doing good with the power-ups. I have so many of them. I wonder if this matchstick is the if its only purpose for existence is to change the ending. You know, do I get an ending based on having a key or a match or something like that? Because I honestly couldn't tell you how to use it. At all. No clue whatsoever. Oh dear, I'm fighting mom. Oh dear. Hi Ma. Yes, Mom? Alright. No. No! Boot to the Isaac. No! Stop shooting at me. You stop shooting at me, too. I have very little health right now. Come on. I missed. I'm here, Mom. I beat Mom. Isaac was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her God, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as 
as I'm told, my lord, I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. <laughs> so the... <laughs> yes, just like that it was over, except for that was all in Isaac's head and she's actually going to come and kill him. Wow, okay, so there you go. That is one ending. One of, of a, over a dozen, I believe. And as you saw, multiple items. Those are only a fraction of the items that are in this game. And every single one of them does something different and sometimes random. It's absolutely crazy. And I've thoroughly enjoyed this, honestly. And uh, I would highly recommend it. Obviously, it's on the Humble Indie Bundle. This is not one of the Beat the Average games, so you could easily pick this up if you wanted to for something like a dollar. But again, as I suggest, if you have uh, anything that you can give, give it to charity. It's The game is available from HumbleBundle.com. And I, like I said, I highly recommend it. As you can see, I think it's really cool, uh, even if disturbing. And as you see here, we've got a nice new title screen that shows me triumph triumphant over mother. And just to give you an idea of how many items are in this game, this is the collection. You can see what I've got. I've had uh, Blood of the Martyr, Skatol, a heart, dessert, and <laughs> dog food is dessert, by the way. Uh, breakfast. There's wooden spoons, a PhD, which actually gives you better pills in the game. Yeah, lift, mom, mom's bra is an item, yes. There is just so many. I mean, that's page one. There's two pages of items, as you can see. And it even, doesn't even tell you what these items do, even when you collect them. So here I've got all these items. I can't even see what they do. I can even delete my save, though, if I wanted to uh, go back and change everything. Oh, and there's a challenge mode completely forgot that here um, quite a bit here dark was the night seven years bad luck I don't even know what all these are basically this gives you certain uh, downsides to playing like I believe dark was the night makes it so that you can't see the map in the upper left hand corner um, all sorts of different challenges here with different penalties for you and uh, well, yeah, we have a new character here. Let's take a look here. Uh, so Isaac has a decent amount of health, speed, and attack. Oh, I thought those were ones. Okay, he has three health, two speed, two attack. She has four health, one speed, two attack. So same attack, slower speed, but more health. And apparently starts with an item. Yum heart. Cool. I'll check that out, but I'm not going to spoil too much more, honestly, because I've already spoiled one ending. I think the rest is up to you. Go, now, get the game for charity. Or if you've uh, want started watching this video after the Humble Indie Bundle, it is available on Steam. So check it out there. Thank you for watching. I am Kagekaze. I will see you next time.